to Gina's Kitchen. It is almost summertime and cucumbers are almost in season. Who doesn't love a good cucumber? Well, I'm taking them up a notch by making a traditional Asian food kimchi that's traditionally made with Napa cabbage and taping it up with cucumbers. Let's get started. We have a pound and a half of mini green cucumbers. They're super cute. And you can use any cucumber. You could use an English cucumber, whatever cucumber you have on hand. So we're gonna use the guard for safety. Put it on. Hey, that worked. And then just slice. My grandma does not need a mandolin because she always cuts them super thin and super even and I do not know how she does it. When you get it down to this little piece, do not cut it anymore because you are likely to cut your finger so it makes for a great little snack. All right, I got my mandolin set on medium and I'm gonna cut up the rest of these cucumbers and meet you back right here. We have our cucumbers all cut up. Now it's time to assemble. We have the cucumbers that we just cut. Boom! Fourth cup of onion. We want to get all the onion flavor. Now just dice these up very fine. One clove of garlic. Two teaspoons of sugar. One tablespoon of sesame oil. And here comes the preference. This is two teaspoons of hot pepper flakes. Now I like mine a little bit more spicy, but if you don't like yours as spicy, you could use half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, or if you like it a lot spicy, er, that's a word, that is a word, you can use one tablespoon. I'm just using two teaspoons because some people in my family don't like it that hot. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. We have our chongs, and now we're just gonna mix it up. You can add more of any of these ingredients as you feel needed. And at my grandma's house, she always has either kimchi, turnip kimchi, or cucumber kimchi on hand somewhere in her house. She has kimchi with every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. One time we even had kimchi with cereal. That was an interesting day. Looks really pretty, very colorful. Boom, this is all ready to go. Now you can pop this in your fridge and it'll last for about a week if you don't need it all and it will marry the flavors and it'll taste even better the next day. But I'm gonna go ahead and give a little taste test. Mmm, that was real good. If you think you would like to try this recipe, give this video a thumbs up. And in the comment box, if you have had cucumber kimchi or any type of kimchi and you have liked it, or dislike it, put it in the comments down below. Share this recipe with your friends. See how they like it. And if you make it, share it on Facebook or Instagram. Be sure to tag Jenna's Kitchen 16 because I would love to see how y'all like cucumber kimchi. Have a great day, y'all.